Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and former President Donald Trump are meeting in New York amid rising questions about U.S. support for Ukraine. The GOP presidential nominee is facing accusations from his Democratic opponent Vice President Kamala Harris that he is advocating for Ukraine to surrender. Trump said Zelensky asked for the meeting at Trump Tower in New York. The meeting comes less than a day after Harris met with the Ukrainian leader and expressed unwavering support. Well, thank you very much. It's an honor to have the president with us. And he's been through a lot. He's been through uh, a tremendous amount, like probably nobody else, almost nobody else in history, if we really get right down to it. And we're going to have a discussion and see what we can come up with. But uh, great honor to have you. Thank you, so thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you so much for this meeting. Five, five years passed. Yeah. So we had, yes, uh, we had meeting again here in New York in September. And now there are a lot of challenges, challenges in Ukraine, the United States. And of course, I want to, to discuss with you. Uh, I think where we are together, I think we have common view that the war in Ukraine has to be stopped and Putin can't win and Ukrainians have to prevail. And I want to discuss with you the details of our plan and of it. I think it's me or to both of us. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, it's very important to share, to share all the plan, all our steps, how we can strengthen Ukraine. And of course, we have to decide it now, because after November, we don't know who is, only Americans decide who will be the president. But we understand that till November, we can't stop Putin. We have to do it, we will try on the battlefield with our heroic soldiers, but we understand that after November, we have to decide, and we hope that the strength of the United States will be very strong, and we count on it. That's why I decided to meet with both candidates, with all honor to them. Thank you. Look, this is a meeting, and we have a big race going on right now. I guess 37 days left, and we're leading in the polls, and so we'll see how it all works out. Hopefully, it'll work out. but. If it does, we're going to work very much with both parties to try and get this settled and get it worked out. Uh, it has to end at some point. It has to end. He's gone through hell, and this country has gone through hell like few countries have ever, uh, like it's happened anywhere. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. It's a terrible situation. We have a very good relationship. And I also have a very good relationship, as you know, with President Putin. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly. Very well. I really think we're going to get it resolved. I hope we have more good relations. We're going to have. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, but, you but, you know, it takes two to tango, you know, and we will, uh, we're going to have a good meeting today. And I think the fact that we're even together today is a very good sign. And hopefully uh, we'll have a good victory because uh, the other side wins. I don't think you're going to have victories with anything, to be honest with you. So we're going to sit down, and just discuss it. And uh, if we have a, a win, I think long before I, before January 20th, before I would take the presidency, it's January 20th. But long before that, I think that uh, we can work out something that's good for both sides. You want to go this way? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Donald Trump held a rally in Indiana, Pennsylvania on Monday, where he hopes conservative, white, working-class voters can help him pull ahead of Kamala Harris. Trump used a typically abrasive message to energize voters at the evening event. She's a one-woman economic wrecking ball and if she gets four more years, her radical agenda will smash the economy into rubble and grind your financial situation right into the dust. Trump said of Harris. He claimed, she wants to take your guns away, even as the vice president has stressed being a gun owner herself. She's coming for your money. She's coming for your pensions, and she's coming for your savings, he said. The former president urged supporters to get out and vote, but scoffed at the idea of casting early ballots, 
suggesting without evidence that it allowed more time to commit fraud. Citing unknown sources, he declared, they said, if we don't win this election, there may never be another election in this country. We're here today because early voting begins in Pennsylvania over the next two weeks. And we need each and every one of you to go out. Just don't take anything for granted. We have to win Pennsylvania. Go out and make a plan to vote early, vote absentee, or vote in person on election day. But you got to get out and vote. She's a one-woman economic wrecking ball, and if she gets four more years, her radical agenda will smash the economy into rubble and grind your financial situation right into the dust. You can't have it. You can't have it. If we win Pennsylvania, we win the whole thing. It's very simple. I mean, somebody I heard the other day, pretty smart person, and you think about it, and it could be true. They said, if we don't win this election, there may never be another election in this country. It could happen. Kamala Harris is the tax queen, and she's coming for your money, she's coming for your pensions, and she's coming for your savings, unless you defeat her in November and you want to take away your guns. Remember that. Always remember that. And we will make America great again.